Scorpio, welcome to your sexual magic deep dive deep reading for the month of May. Guys, I'm giving away a free personal read to a lucky subscriber. All you have to do is like and comment below underneath this video for an entry into the contest. If you cross watch other videos, specifically the deep dives for May, and like and comment there as well, it'll be an additional entry into the contest to win um, a free personal reading from me, okay? All of the information on the contest is down below in the description box if you're interested. All right, let's dive in here, Scorpio. So we're going to see who's coming towards you. We're going to take a look at their personality traits as well as their sexual characteristics. Um, then we're going to see how they feel about you and tap a little bit deeper into their sexual energy. So let's get into this, Scorpio. Let's find out who is coming towards you. Ooh, you got the Six of Pentacles. Love that. <laughs> okay, one more card, please, Spirit. Who's coming towards Scorpio in the month of May? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Scorpio, we've got the Star card, okay? Could be an Aquarius, not necessarily so. But this person is very attractive, all right? This person is someone who is probably sought after. This could be some kind of creative, um, a singer, songwriter, could be a dancer, could be an artist, um, but it's somebody who's recognized for creativity for sure. Um, the star card is, again, someone who's very attractive, someone who um, is sought after quite often uh, because they have a lot of attractive qualities, they're charismatic, and then they're just naturally beautiful. Okay, male or female, take it how it resonates. Again, it could be an Aquarius. But let's dive in here, okay? So we've got the world. We've got the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Page of Air, okay? So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Taurus, um, could be a Capricorn, could be any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but those are kind of the energies that I'm picking up here. Okay. Um, this is the type of person who is well-traveled, okay, with the world car. This is an individual who is very exp experimental in the bedroom. Um, they've got kind of this wild energy, all right? Um, this is the type of individual who kind of goes with their guts, follows their instincts, their intuition, um, especially in the realm of sex. If they feel the energy, they feel the energy, and they really just go for it here, okay, Scorp? Um, the world card also signifies someone who is rather good looking as well, physically. Um, along with that star card, I can tell that this person is probably very attractive, or at least is an individual who is seen as attractive to many people by many people here, okay? Six of Pentacles, I love this card. This is sugar daddy, sugar mama energy, okay? This is the type of individual who wants to give to you their time, their energy, um, their money, okay? Not necessarily, that's not gonna be for everybody, but this is kind of what that card signifies. Um, sexually, this person is the type of individual who wants to give to you, who wants to please you, to make, wants to make sure that you are satisfied, okay? Um, the type of individual who is a pleaser. He, he or she aims to please here, okay? And anything that they could do to satisfy you is exactly what they're going to do here, okay? The Nine of Wands. This is an individual who's full of lust, fire, um, sexual energy, okay? The Wands are a favored sexual energy, um, when I'm doing sexual energy I'm readings, of course. Um, this individual, um, this individual has a lot of determination, okay? Um, if they want something, they're going to keep coming back time and time again to try to get an opportunity, okay? Try to get a sexual encounter from an individual if, if they're interested in them sexually here, okay? Um, even when they feel like they've been rejected, the chances of them trying one more time <laughs> are very likely, okay? This person is very persistent. When they see something that they want, they go after it, okay? Very determined individual. 
with the knave of air. Okay, this is the type of individual who doesn't approach someone unless they're very, very sure. All right, they may watch you from a distance. They may watch you on social media. They may watch you at work, at the gym. They may watch you. Maybe you walk your dog the same route every day and they see you. Okay, this is the type of individual who kind of waits in the shadows until they're very, very ready to approach um, whoever it is that they're interested in, okay? They want to be sure. This person is the type of individual that when they move in, they want to move quick, okay? Um, not super fast, but <laughs> but like not as fast as let's say the Knight of Air, but the page is still moving pretty fast, okay? Um, this is an effective communicator. They have no issues with communication, um, and they probably like to talk dirty, <laughs> okay? So let's see this individual, whoever's coming towards you, um, this is a really balanced energy, okay? We've got air, we've got fire, we've got earth. Um, we don't have any water, but I feel like this person is more of a passionate individual um, than super emotional, but let's see how they feel about you, okay? When they come in. For Scorpio, how's this individual feeling towards Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Spirit, please show me clearly. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Three more cards, please. Ha, huh, there we go. So there's that Knight of Swords here, okay? So they want to come rushing in. They want to send messages to you. They want to talk to you. They want to see who you are, what you like. Um... They want to get to know you and I feel like the energy and the momentum is is moving really quickly for them so they want to come in they want to rush in they might be even a little hasty here um, again so this is the type of individual because we have that nape of air that will watch um, the person that they're interested in before they really make their move here so I feel like this individual is um, has seen you likes what they see and they want to rush in now Okay, with that page of swords. So, how they feel about you. We got the Ten of Wands. We got the High Priestess. Yeah, this person wants to come in for communication. We've got the Ace of Swords and we've got the King of Pentacles here. So, this person's not really playing around. Um, they're following their intuition here. In regards to you, um, there's a gravitational pull that's kind of pulling them in here is what I'm feeling. They're coming with stable energy. They feel like you're a stable individual. They feel like you are confident that you are sure of yourself, um, that you're very self-sufficient here. All right. There is um, a very deep sexual desire here, especially with that high priestess card, the high priestess card. Um, the High Priestess is probably one of the most sexual females in the deck. Um, she's very intuitive, so she kind of goes with the flow of her body. She doesn't really use her head. She doesn't really use her heart. She strictly uses her body, okay? Um, so that intuitive presence when there's an energetic... Um, when there's an energetic feel between her and someone else, she just goes with it. She's very, very sexual, very fluid. Um, again, she goes based off of her intuition, not her head and not her heart. So um, I feel like there is a sexual energy between the two of you that is kind of guiding this connection is what I feel here. This person wants to start communication with you. However, I feel like this person feels as if you have a lot on your plate. Okay. They feel like you may be super busy. Maybe you're busy with work. Maybe you're busy with, you know, personal goals. Maybe you're busy with your kids. Maybe you're busy with, it does, doesn't really matter. You're busy with something and this person can see that. Okay. But they still want to start new communication with you. They feel like, um, this, this connection, this sexual connection could go somewhere. Okay. Um, I actually just want to pull a clarifier. Look at this underneath. I just pulled this um, Knight of Swords down and look, the Nine of Cups here. Underneath that is the star. 
I feel like they feel like you are a wish fulfillment. The attraction for you is very strong here. Can I clarify this 10 of wands, please? Can I clarify the 10 of wands, please, for Scorpio? Now this person is going towards Scorpio. 10 of wands, yeah. <laughs> I think that they're a little nervous about how much energy you're going to be able to give to them because we have the six of pentacles again. So um, they definitely want to give to you, but I think there's a little bit of a disconnect in how much you, time you can give to them because they see that you're working hard. Could be, like I said, you could be working on yourself. You could be really working on anything, um, but they still want to give to this situation even though they see that you are dealing with other things here, okay? All right, so I'm going to pull their sexual energy towards you here. Um, they definitely want to come in. They want to have communication with you here, as I'm seeing. Spirit, please clarify their sexual energy towards Scorpio. One more card, please, Spirit. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have tasting. Actually, this is masturbation. So in this particular deck, so all the decks that you purchase, they usually have different meanings, like they'll come with a little book. Um, in this particular deck, this is masturbation, okay? So like I said, this person's been watching you, They've you've been on their mind. Um, they could be having solo sessions, thinking about you, romanticizing the idea of getting you naked. Um, seeing your body, exploring your body, um, you exploring theirs. But the arousal for you is very, very, very strong here, okay? Um, again, this person is just romanticizing the idea of having sex with you, having a sexual encounter with you, being intimate here, okay? So we have... Mm, two of Cups, Union. Okay, yes. Uh, this is going to be a mutual attraction is what I'm seeing here, okay? Sometimes people come in and you don't really want them, but this is going to be somebody that you want, okay? Because we have the Two of Cups. So this is a mutual attraction between the two of you. Um, you guys are both going to want this sexual encounter. You guys are both going to feel the sexual energy. Um, it's going to be really easy for you two to connect sexually, to be comfortable with one another sexually. Um, but this person's sexual energy towards you, they want to come together. They want you, all right? They want to they wanna be in the dominant position. Um, I feel as if this person will pursue you. You won't have to do too, too much. Um, again, we have the Six of Pentacles twice here. So this person, they want to spoil you. They want to spoil you in the bedroom. They want to give you whatever it is that, they, that you want here, okay? This person, again, with the world card is very sexually explorative, all right? They like to watch you. They like to, um, they're very visual, so they're, they'd probably be really into lingerie. They'd be really into watching you play with yourself. Um, very sexual individual here. Then we have the hermit. So, um... Again, this is this is a card of watching as well, all right? I feel like this person, if you are talking to anybody else or somebody else is showing interest in you, this is the type of person who's going to be kind of jealous, all right? Um, they don't want to be rejected by you. They want you. Um, but the energy I'm feeling here is that this individual is very visual, okay? So again, they may want to watch you. Um, play with yourself. They may want to watch you undress. They may want to watch you. You might notice that if you're on top, they're staring at you pretty intensely here, okay? Um, very visual individual. So then we have, um, we've got the Two of Pentacles and then we've got the Page of Swords here. Yeah, I'm just picking up this energy of an individual who is interested in pleasing you here, interested in taking the lead, interested in being submissive to you, doing whatever it is um, that you want them to do here, okay? I feel like they are the type of individual who is just so curious. Um, 
about what they can do with your body, about what they can do with you, about where this sexual encounter could lead, what, um, <laughs> I just feel like this very curious energy from this person, and I feel like they have the ability to be very submissive as well here, okay? Um, but their sexual energy towards you is very strong. They definitely desire you, and I feel as if this per you're going to desire this person as well here, okay? Okay, I'm going to pull a moonology for you guys, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of the information is down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Again, each comment um, on each deep dive video for the month of May does count as an entry into... Um, the contest to win a free personal read, okay? Let me see if there's any more advice or information here. So we've got emotions are running high, okay? So like I said, I feel like this individual is going to be very hasty to come in. Um, I feel like the desire for you is very, very strong here. They want to follow their intuition with the High Priestess. Um, and come towards you <laughs> and then we have take time to breathe out like I said um, this is gonna move a lot faster than you you think it's gonna move um, the sexual energy between the two of you is gonna be very strong definitely definitely and I think you're gonna be very attracted to this individual all right Scorpio thank you so much for watching and take care bye